Hey guys, Brandon of Being Your Own Tools, aka BYOT. Thank you for joining me, and today we are resealing my asphalt driveway. Yes, if you have an asphalt driveway, this is something you have to do every year, every two years, because otherwise, if you don't, it's gonna look like this. Yeah, no one wants that. Keep on watching. Let's get started. Of course, it always starts with a sorry looking asphalt driveway. And I was hoping for some help on this project, but my wife is attending to the newest member of our family. Everyone say hi to Kona. There will be videos in the future with Kona, trust me. Now the first step to getting ready to seal your driveway is of course cleaning it up. First off, removing all of the random bushes and debris and rocks that all of a sudden accumulated over a year. Yeah, I don't know how all this stuff accumulates so quickly, but it does. Now the next step in the sealing process is an important one is using a degreaser. Now you need to use a degreaser to make sure all the stuff that's been on this driveway for a year, two years, five years needs to be removed completely. Otherwise the seal coat material is not going to adhere properly. Now I'm using a product called Purple Power Rangers. Okay, just purple power. And you don't really need to use this specific degreaser, but it is a good one that I've used many times and I had laying around so I used it. But using any type of industrial degreaser will work. Now after spraying the driveway with the degreaser, I proceeded to grabbing my pressure washer to spray down the entire driveway. This will remove all the random dirt particles, rocks, sediment, and of course grease. Now, if you are a homeowner and you do not have a pressure washer, please, please go get one. This thing is amazing, I use it all the time, and it's cheap to rent, but guess what? You will use this thing constantly with the fact that you are a homeowner and it's fun to use. Let's just be honest, something about the pressure and the machinery, it's satisfying to clean something with a pressure washer, and I will leave a link in the description box below on the one that I purchased. Now as an example of the reason behind doing a seal coat is this. Now this is literally a asphalt driveway that was poured two years ago and there's already grass and weeds coming up through my asphalt driveway. Can you believe this? Come on, what is going on here? In any case, you remove all of the weeds, grass, and whatever is coming up through there. Pressure wash it out, clean it up, dry it off, and then fill it with crack filler. Now I'm using latex bite airport grade crack filler. This stuff dries in approximately 48 hours depending on the heat. In all reality, you don't need that much time to do so if you don't have it. I literally put it on there and seal coated it over it approximately two hours afterwards. Now this crack filler is self-leveling, but I did take a paintbrush and smooth it over just to make it a little bit easier and flatter. And look at that, after some pressure washing and some general cleanup, this thing looks brand new but we still have to seal it. Now the one thing that I have a problem with, especially with this driveway, is that it floods. Yeah, rain just goes straight through down this hill into my driveway and we need to fix that, which is why I'm doing a bit of a patch job. More of a water directional pathway. Let's just say that. That sounds good, right? Yeah. Now I'm placing a piece of duct tape on the ground itself just to give me a straight line and then I proceed to laying a, the patch material on the ground itself. I'll make sure and leave a link in the description box below on where to find this material. Now I realize that this patch material does not adhere well to dry surfaces so I actually took some of the seal coat material, painted it on there and then pressed down the patch material onto that. Now I'm using a rubber mallet just to flatten it out properly and this mount will just give me the ability to remove some of the water that goes straight into my driveway, avoiding it flooding. Yeah, because no one wants that, right? No. Now, finally to the product that we've been all waiting for, the seal coat. I'm using a product called Ultra Shield by Latexite. It has a 10 year warranty and for the first coat, it should approximately cover 300 to 400 square feet. I emphasize the word approximate because I definitely ran out at the very end and I bought extra. So make sure you buy plenty, an extra barrel or bucket, whatever you like to call it, because you're going to need it. Now unfortunately with my driveway, I don't have a nice crisp edge. I have this beautiful rockery, but it has very odd, unique corners. So I actually took a paintbrush, poured some of the material onto the asphalt driveway itself, and then just paintbrushed and smoothed it out accordingly. Now I'm sure there's faster ways of doing this, but because of the fact that this is my first time ever doing it, and I have such a unique 
tight-knit area in some locations, I wanted to make sure I would took my time and carefully place the solution all over the place with a paintbrush. Now it worked out perfectly, it looks great, but guess what, it was not the quickest process imaginable. So I'm sure there might be some quicker ways to do so, but just know that this way helped me, it just wasn't the fastest. Also, know that put some painter's tape down because you know what, that makes things a lot easier and quicker. I eventually figured that one out and made it work for my advantage. Just wish I did that a little sooner, trust me. Now for the vast majority of your driveway coatage, you're going to need a squeegee, this type of squeegee. And it's not going to be reusable, trust me. First you want to pour the Ultra Shield down onto the surface itself and then squeegee the material down towards the bottom of the driveway. Use gravity on your side because that just makes things easier, right? Good old gravity. Being that this is my first time ever using a seal coat product like this, I wanted to work in small areas, not large bass areas, so I poured a little bit at a time. To be completely honest, I'm sure pouring more would make it go much faster, as well as potentially even a little bit easier. So I'll probably do that in the future, but as far as a beginner goes, keeping it simple, keeping it in small areas makes things easier. Now there is a self-leveling agent in this type of product, but you do want to try and run this material in one direction, as in using the squeegee at an angle so all the excess is going in one direction versus both sides of the squeegee. That will avoid runoff and excess material where you really don't want it. Now a few quick items to mention is the fact that you need to make sure that it's at least 55 degrees when applying the seal coat, otherwise it's not going to adhere properly. Secondly, making sure you take a look at the weather report, making sure it's not going to dump rain or hail, anything like that, onto the driveway itself. Not good for it. And thirdly, making sure that when you do have it applied, wait 24 hours before you start walking on it, and I'd say wait at least 48 hours till you actually have vehicles driving on it, just to make sure sure that it's adhered properly and it's not going anywhere on you. Where are you going? Nowhere. As this project was wrapping up, I was actually getting more comfortable with the squeegee and this product itself, so I actually felt comfortable enough to actually use it on these tight-knit corners, just able to maneuver the material properly and thoroughly through the corner area. Now they might have to go back slightly and touch it up with a paintbrush, but that was a much quicker and a much easier process of doing so versus the other side when I was just doing it by hand. Trust me, real talk. Now as I work my way down towards the bottom of the driveway, I of course use my trusty painter's tape due to the fact that it's just a time saver. Yep, much easier to do, so make sure you do this if you have some tight knit areas where you can actually utilize it. Proceed to cut in the sealer itself and then use the squeegee on the back side just to clean up the leftover material. Now as a quick reminder, if this is the first seal coat that your asphalt driveway is getting, the driveway will soak this material up greatly because it's actually more porous than if you've applied this a number of times. So just keep that in mind because the last thing you want to do is run out. No one wants that. And in the end, after you have everything completely sealed and hopefully you didn't make too much of a mess, make sure you put something in front of the driveway because the last thing you want is someone to park on top of it right after you applied it. That's the last thing you want. And in just one afternoon, you took your old, ugly driveway and turned it brand new again. My oh my, that is one beautiful, sexy beast of a sealed driveway. There you have it, episode number 33 of BWT Done. This is not the cleanest project, but it was well worth the effort because you want to protect that asphalt driveway. In any case, if you're watching, please like the video, please subscribe to this channel, and please check out my Instagram feed. I post there weekly, if not daily. In any case, thank you for time, and catch you next time. Thank you to all the viewers and subscribers out there. I hit 10,000 subscribers and over a million views this last week. I couldn't have done without all of your guys' support. Thank you so much. This next year, BYT is gonna get bigger and better than ever. I got better video quality, better sound, t-shirts, Q and A's, plenty of other stuff. Keep on watching. Thank you for all the support. Till next time. Always gotta make sure your head is fully secured. Always. Dear goodness. And why oh why was the only time I actually poured too much material was at the very end where I couldn't do anything about it other than just shoveling up. Oh well, you live and you learn.